Before we talk about Runner 2, let's talk some history and have a look at the games that came before. The original six bit trip games were released between 2009 and 2011 exclusively for the Nintendo Wii's digital platform, WiiWare. The story starts in California, and having attempted to form a video game developer once before and failing due to overambition, Alex Noisy co founded Gaijin Games, playing it safe and employing only three members of staff. So, with just a designer, artist, and programmer, Gaijin Games set about making their first game in their then entitled 8 bit series a name that eventually morphed into the current name, BitTrip. Released in the dark days of 2009, their first game, BitTrip Beat, was an anarchic take on Pong. Its retro styling is attributed equally to Noyce's desire to make a game that looked like an Atari 2600 game, and the WiiWare's tiny download limit. The main character of the game, just a black bar with a 16x9 white visor, was dubbed Commander Video after Noyce's pre-existing online handle. The Commander would remain a staple of the series, appearing in some form in every subsequent Gaijin game. Bitrip Beat received positive reviews, getting 80 out of 100 on Metacritic, and it ensured the series continued, which it did later in 2009 with Bitrip Core and Bitrip Void. Both games were also well received, and stuck very close to the top-down Atari style of gameplay that had been established with the first game. With three solid games under their belt, Gaijin upped their ambition turning their trademark 2D multicoloured game series into something more complex, and set about making something which fleshed out the BitTrip universe into a fuller, richer place. And by 2010, the fourth game in the series was ready for release. The original BitTrip Runner released on May 17th in North America, and was a 2.5D side-scrolling rhythm platformer. Matching the retro visuals, the game had a fantastic chiptune soundtrack featuring the greats of the chiptune world such as Anna Managuchi, a band which I have almost certainly mispronounced there, I'm very sorry. One thing about the original Bitrip Runner, which everyone can agree on, is that it's hard. It's incredibly hard. Obstacles and important environmental objects are ill-defined due to the low-res art style and can be quite hard to see and making one mistake came at a heavy price, with players being immediately reset to the beginning to try again, and do it properly this time. The game featured no checkpoint system, and with some of the dastardly obstacle courses stretching on for several minutes, being sent straight to the start became notoriously frustrating. Despite, or perhaps because of this, the game gained a large cult following. The game was ported to the Nintendo 3DS and Steam the following year after its success on WiiWare, and the Commander's new fame as an indie game icon saw him appear as a playable character in fellow Steam game Super Meat Boy. The BitTrip series continued to do its own thing after Runner, but fans of the Commander remained hopeful for a sequel of his most popular outing. And on October 4th, 2011, Andrew Hynek began to blog the development process of the sequel, snappily named BitTrip Presents Runner 2, Future Legend of Rhythm Alien. The blog promised a whole new art style, with character designs for the Commander graduating from the previous pixel art style and taking a more realistic direction. Gaijin released Runner 2 in February 2013 for the Wii U, Steam and the Xbox 360, with a PS3 version releasing in March. Did Gaijin's ambition pay off? And how did the Commander and his adventures running to the right of the screen transition from the 8-bit to the HD? Let's find out. This is Let's Play Runner 2. <laughs> 